Hi, I'm Mary, librarian turned book reviewer with a focus on stories written for children, tweens, and teens. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a book I just finished called Me vs. the Multiverse, Please to Meet Me by S.G. Wilson. So this story is not what I was expecting. I have to say, first of all, when I saw the illustrations, I couldn't stop thinking about Rick and Morty. And I figured it wasn't going to be much like that, but I, every time I saw the illustrations, all I could think of was that show. But what was really great about this book is that from the beginning, it really captured my attention. So the story is about a boy named Mead Macon, who is uh, in middle school. He is not very good at anything. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of motivation and he doesn't really know what's to do with his life. So, and on this particular day, his science fair project is late and he starts finding all of these small origami creatures with notes written on them. Now, origami by itself might be a little bit unusual, but what's mostly unusual about these is that they are shapes that he himself has created and invented and not shared with anyone else. So when he finds these notes and the notes are cryptic and say that they're written by him, inviting him to this abandoned hotel nearby, He's curious, as most people would be. So he gets to the hotel and he gets into the elevator and instead of going down to the floor he was supposed to go to, he picks a different one. And there he finds out that he's not the only one of himself in the multiverse. So it's up to him, once he finds all of the other me's around, to figure out how to get everyone back home again without destroying the universe. So it's really fun, this story. There's a lot of humor in it, especially for readers who are a bit savvy. So ones who have had more experiences than maybe some others, um, especially when it comes to science fiction and maybe nerdy games like Magic the Gathering. Um, one character in particular I find very funny um, who comes from a world where everything is written exactly like it is. So when they tell you that a movie is called Titanic, the boat sinks. <laughs> That's part of everything on that particular world. And there was one line in here about a salad bar being a germ factory. And I have always thought that about salad bars and it just tickled me pink reading that line in this book. Um, so what's great about this story is that it's actually very heartfelt. So at the beginning, it feels a little bit, um, casual, I guess is a good description, but then as you get more into it, you kind of start seeing Mead as he's seeing the other me's and other versions of himself, and he starts to really accept himself for all of his behaviors and what others might see as flaws, and he starts to embrace them, and he sees all of the possibilities of what he might be able to do. So you watch him protect other versions of himself and stand up to bullies and really grow as a human through this story. And he makes friends, and even though it's a little bit silly that there are other versions of himself, it really helps the reader to kind of look back at themselves in a more accepting, embracing way. So from the beginning of this book, um, you'll see that there are illustrations periodically in the text. There are not a ton of illustrations, and many of them are repeated as the characters come back, um, but it's a nice little break for readers as they go through the story visually. Um, but I would say it's definitely better suited to middle grade readers who are a bit more advanced and have more experience with other things. Just there's a lot of uh, references to outside knowledge that maybe some readers wouldn't have. So, um, but any reader who's into things like Stranger Things or Magic the Gathering would find this story to be very entertaining. And um, I especially appreciate that there is uh, there's a, a character in here who's a bit uh, unexpected, I will say, um, an unexpected version of Mead, and I think that it's great that that character is included. I'm not going to give away more about that character at this point, but I will say I'm looking forward to more stories in this canon, and this, especially the hardcover and dust jacket makes it stand out on shelves for middle grade readers. But if this book sounds like something you would enjoy, make sure you go check it out at your local bookstore.